pleasant. I truly did not anticipate hearing from you, much less that you would send me a pupil. You are right. Magic appears to be tying up loose ends. For what purpose? It no longer tells me. Sending the young one to me. Well, I suppose you haven't fully lost faith in me. For that final act of trust. I thank you. They are quite a fast learner, though I suspect they are being gifted more easily, so that I may be disposed of sooner. It's funny. I used to dream of outliving you. Now, I only hold sadness in my heart. That it is I that will be released first. I wish I knew how to help you pass on to the next as well, dear cousin. I don't believe. I meant to share this with you, but I don't know why, in my final days, I would suddenly give a damn about what magic means for me to, and not to do. In our lessons, my pupil is already being given clear visions, several of which appear to repeat themselves. A ball cut open and bloodied, holding a scroll. A forest clearing empty, save for a blackened scent. An old man in robes, standing no longer mine to sort out, but I sorely hope that maybe, just maybe, they provide a shred of help to you. I must go soon, Miss Relia. My only lasting regret is that we couldn't walk through the veils together. Make it pay, cousin, and may you, too, find rest soon. Your faithful seer. So, I think we're long overdue for a chat. Wouldn't you agree? Chadrick. Mind if I sit? So glad to see that time hasn't affected your ostentatious tastes. Oh, don't give me that look. We both know that your rewarding abilities were always subpar at best. The first ten were child's play. The last three. The last three gave me pause, but come on.
I didn't come here to berate your magic ability, though. That I can do from a distance. I came. How familiar. How familiar are you with the seer? Right, you thought she was superstitious and stuck up. Not unlike yourself. Well. She's getting replaced. Mm, so that does give you cause for concern. And her replacement is already having premonitions. An old man in robes. Standing before a burning key. And a black-haired young woman standing before my door. I'm tired of the games. What do you know? Don't. Don't play coy with me. You both know you're terrible at it. I'm exhausted. I never wanted to see you again in my entire life, and yet here I am. So. What do I know? I come all this way. Bust through all of your wards. tell you that the seer is being replaced and that the new one is getting premonitions from magic about you burning down Cairdorn Keep and you want to know what I know Fine Fine I'll play a little longer I know that you've been working with the young upstart on the council. I know that you two have been meeting in Bradwin's back room with a black-haired young woman. To what end, I'm not really sure, but Apparently it's important. And that you're up to something. I know. <laughs> I know that magic's been very strange as of late. And things just keep getting stranger. I know that I'm tired. I want to be done, Chadrick. So tell me what you know, and we can be done with this. I know enough to suspect that she's some kind of magic user. an experiment. Whose experiment would she even be then? No. No. I found one.
old journals. But that that was the entire deal. You were supposed to find all of the old journals from the council and what they created and burn them. Chandrick, where did they find the old journals? Did they find them? Did they find them somewhere dark and cold and abandoned? Or did they find them? Did they find them in your library? Sniveling little <laughs> Of course you did. <gasps> of course. Of course you couldn't help but keep one. That was our deal. Our deal is you get rid of all of the journals, and I get rid of any memory of you. I conveniently forget. What you did that day? Or should I say... What you didn't do? I let your name, your history, fall to history. And I wipe any record of you ever being the final member of the Six. And there's only three of us that know now. You, me, and the Seer. I should have known better than to think you'd hold up yours. So, this poor girl. You're helping her. Don't tell me you're trying to make penance. Oh, Chandrick. <sighs> oh. No, sorry, it's just funny. That you think there's anything you can do pay for what you did? To pay for what was taken. <sighs> but sure, help the girl. That'll solve everything. And what, I'm just supposed to believe you're helping her out of the goodness of your own heart? I'm just supposed to believe that you have a heart. What did they do to her?
how much how much does she know? A magic user. <laughs> How long? How long have they been injecting her with witch blood? <sighs> How long? How is she out? How did she... You helped her escape. The young council member. His predecessor. That was no natural death. I always knew I liked that old man. He helped to get her out. Dying in the process. How long ago was that? That could have been... That lines up. The curses. All along, the curses were. Is her magic learned, or is, is it an ability like mine? I I haven't found I haven't found anyone in so long and she's been here though I could have helped, I could have... I suppose you're right. I wouldn't have believed you. I wouldn't have believed you at all. They injected a sorceress with witch blood for years. That explains our migraines that Bran was talking about. The witch blood. It binds her to the blood warts of the witch one. Unless... The curses were her, weren't they? It was her trying to use her magic. But they cried. What do you plan to do about it? If you truly
truly, truly intended to pay penance. What are you going to do about it to fix it? Can we even start over? Start a new council. A new school. How? You mean to burn it to the ground, don't you? You're going to burn it all down. <laughs> the girl, what's her name? I can't, I can't be of much help here. It's not, it's not like that. I will always resent you, Chadrick, for what you did. But I resent the council far more. I can't. First of all, they have eyes all over me. Second of all, I... I can't leave the direwood for very long. It's not dead, Chadrick. You of all people should know the dire what doesn't belong there. It was created by accident. I didn't mean for... I was trying to save him. My penalty. My penance. The woods need a keeper. They were created by magic. They draw all manner of things to them that don't belong. I have to keep the woods in check, so they don't spread. And... And I have to maintain the wards on the creature. It's not dead. It was never. trying to save him and that thing got caught up in the war and now they're both they're both at its center the center of the diary the entire thing. That's why the paths change. That's why the woods 
are alive. It's it's me. I have to keep people keep people away from it. Every day, every hour, every minute, every second, the amount, the amount of power I have to exert to keep it in check. I'm of no use to you here. I might be of use to Valentia, though. I ran across many in the last months, years, however long it's been. But I experienced her curses. Some directly, some indirectly. At least I think. I have a potion that's worked on them. I don't know if I could undo years of their work with it, but I have to hope. Serana. Ironically enough. Ironically enough, it's uh get the Lindia to me. I'll see what I can do. And she should the wards on the dire one. blood. The witch blood within her. The wards I created by accident that day. That thing that they created. Its blood was too corrupted. The Direwood should welcome Valentia. She'll be safe there. She shouldn't have migrants there, actually. This time there was another. I know it. I I don't intend to stay. I'm close. If I can figure out 
how to separate the wards from that thing, from the bodies. Tavis left a gift. That's all I'll say about that. But the woods need a keeper. wants it. She can have it. I don't expect any kind of emotional goodbye from you. The time for apologies has long passed. You can make it up to me in some small, some very small way. place could use a fresh start. If she accepts. If she wants a home. If she wants to be the woods keeper, make that the school. Use the dire wood to do something good. To do something good in the world. So tired, Jimmy. I'm so very tired. It's not for me to see the next stage. Whether or not this is the end that magic means for me, I don't care. I don't care at all. I'm taking it. This is the most hopeful I've been in a long time. Which is good because I'll need that to mix around his potion. Can you drop it? I couldn't break through the ward that allows me to access interdimensional. Thank you. Don't look so smug. Potions always were my specialty.
I made one for each of the six. This is yours. I made them to honor our dead. You and I both know you died to me that day. Do you remember when you went after that blasted rift? The tear between realms? You know, the the thing that we were not supposed to go anywhere near and have been warned time and time again that that was far too dangerous unless that thing yeah and you snuck off in the night no one knew you had gone Veronica She woke the rest of us up and tried to convince us to go with her to rescue you because only you would be stupid enough to try to go into a rift Rager and Tavis both said if you wanted to die to let you We both know Malachi isn't good. Wasn't good in those situations. We had no magic to help. We would just be a danger there. Serana was determined to save you. You didn't deserve her. I think you know that, though. I'll never understand why she loved you. And she loved you. Fiercely. I had to go because... Because if Serana got hurt on my watch, Malachi would never forgive me, so... We went to save you. And we all nearly got killed in the process. But you were so kind. And your thanks for literally saving your life to give me some of the material that you pulled back with you from that rift. I know it's always bad to you what I did. Centuries now, I'm sure you've wondered. Invisibility potions are subpar. It's not true invisibility, it's an illusion. But I call this shadow fault. The user gets placed somewhere between the realms. Not quite here, but not quite there. You slide into shadow, and you can still move through our world, but unseen, unheard, unnoticed. It's more than invisibility. You should take it. I won't need it. And I think it could be very useful. 
we're starting an uprising. I'll call it what it is. You always were one for the dramatic thing. I don't know why it stopped now. I can't wash you if it was done, Chadrick. I can only wish you the best. With what's to come. Send the girl to me. I can train her. Keep her safe until the time. She can choose whatever she wants. I can shield her from them. The woods should shield her from them. She's the key. and farewell.